Good evening, I'm Marvin Bartlett. And I'm Kristen Flum. Law enforcement agencies in Madison County are trying to piece together the timeline of events that led to a home invasion and the death of a 32-year-old woman. That victim, Jordan Morgan, the daughter of former state representative Wesley Morgan. Wesley Morgan was also shot in the ordeal. Fox 56's Georgia Reed Godfrey has been speaking to friends of the family and has more details. Georgia. Wesley Morgan is known in Madison County for his politics, business skills, and home. The multi-million dollar mansion has been advertised as one of the safest homes in the country. That's why so many people have questions tonight after his daughter was murdered on the property. It's news that shocked Madison County. Even law enforcement officials are trying to wrap their head around the crime. This isn't something that we see very common uh, here in Madison County. The scene unfolded just after 4 a.m. at a multi-million dollar home on Willis Branch Road in Richmond. KSP received a call of a shooting. The home belongs to Wesley Morgan, a former state representative. I was, you know, a libertarian nominee for U.S. Senate against McConnell, Amy McGrath and Mitch McConnell. And Wesley helped me quite a bit with my campaign. And local businessman who owns Liquor World stores in Madison County. Uh, but he's, he's a good guy. Uh, really, I, I had nothing but respect for him. Wesley Morgan was shot during the home invasion and according to state police was able to shoot back. But Morgan's daughter, Jordan Morgan, was killed. At this time, uh, we know that one person has been pronounced deceased at the scene by the Madison County coroner. The 32-year-old just accepted a position as an associate attorney at a Lexington law firm. Friends of the family say Jordan was Morgan's pride and joy. And, you know, Wesley's been very successful, but, you know, to see him light up was always talking about her and talking about, you know, being able to, to put her through law school and, and going through all that and watching her through all that, you know, was, was really what would light him up. The Willis Branch Road home has a high-tech security system to keep intruders out, and Madison County is usually pretty quiet, which is why residents are confused that such a tragic crime would happen there. I just don't understand how somebody at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning is going to go out to that neighborhood, uh, especially if him having cameras all over the place and doing something like that. Back off the road, he has a, a, a farm there, and... You know, I'm sure he had tons of surveillance, so it, it was kind of, you know, like surreal doubt for me. Kentucky State Police say it's too early to determine if there is an ongoing threat to the public. Police also add that Jordan Morgan was a part-time resident of the home. Live in the newsroom, George Rick Godfrey, Fox 56 News. Wesley Morgan is a well-known figure in Central Kentucky. The Republican served one term in the State House of Representatives from 2017 to 2019, but was defeated when he ran for re-election. In 2020, he tried to unseat U.S. Senator Mitch McConnell, picking up about 6% of the vote in the primary. The home where today's shooting took place was listed for sale last year with a price tag of $6.5 million. It sits on 200 acres. The listing received nationwide attention because the home includes an underground shelter that's been referred to as a doomsday bunker.